Hey guys, how's it going? Alex Scott here with Concertini.com. Thank you so much for checking out another one of our super cool studio gear reviews. Today we've got something a little bit different for you guys. We are going to be looking at a ukulele from the company K-Mize. Now, I want to preface this whole thing by saying I am not an expert ukulele player um, or an expert on their construction. However, I do own a few ukuleles and I use them from time to time on jingles and commercial music and stuff. And of course I play guitar and bass. Um, so I definitely know a thing or two about playing stringed instruments, how acoustic string instruments should be built, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I am not an expert ukulele guy, so this whole review is going to be coming kind of from the perspective of a producer and a very casual player and just somebody looking at this ukulele really from a beginner's perspective, which is exactly what this product is designed for, the beginning ukulele player. Apparently it is a whole set of uh, accessories and all this stuff that's really designed for somebody who's brand new to the instrument. Again, the manufacturer is K-Mize, that's K-M-I-S-E. You can find these on eBay and Amazon. Um, we will provide links in the description down below if you're interested in picking one up. I just want to say thank you so much to the guys at K-Mize for sending over this ukulele. I'm really excited to take a peek at it and see what you get. Uh, it is a very, very inexpensive product. Again, check the, the link in the description below for the latest price, um, but it's under $100 for the whole set, I think even a little bit cheaper than that. Um, so, you know, again, if you're a beginner or brand new to you and you really just want to check out a, a basic starter model, this is going to be a great option for you guys. But let's jump over to our unboxing camera and see what all it comes with. Okay, here is our K-Mines ukulele in the box. I have not opened it or taken a look inside as of yet, so this is going to be just as big of a surprise to me as it will be to you guys. Um, this box came inside of a larger box without any styrofoam or, you know, packing bags or airbags or anything like that, which is a little bit odd, I suppose. It was a much bigger box and this was just kind of rattling around inside, so hopefully everything's okay, but let's take a peek. Okay, so actually right off the bat we have a bag, which is quite cool. Looks like a pretty decent bag as well. Take that out, looks like we've got a couple of accessories here. So we've got a cool little checkered strap, some extra strings. Let's take a look in here and see what all this has. Yeah, extra strings, strap, a piece of sandpaper, probably for adjusting the action of the bridge, maybe something like that. A how to play ukulele quick start guide. <laughs> I like that a lot. Okay, cool. So you've got some different, uh, you know, fingering charts and for different chords and how to tune your ukulele, how to read ukulele tablature. Very cool. This looks like a very well put together little book uh, designed for beginners. C major scale. Very cool. That'll definitely come in handy for someone like myself who has no idea how to play uke. And then of course a very nice thank you warranty general information card. But what is in this very slick little bag? I will say right off the bat this bag looks to be very high quality. We've got a couple little backpack straps. Um, now I would imagine you would have to be a pretty small human being, maybe a little kid to make these fit and work, but still a handy feature. And the bag is, yeah, just very good quality. It feels quite sturdy in this little pouch here. No, but it does have a nice little accessory pouch that's actually pretty decently deep. I can fit my whole hand in there, make a fist pretty easily. Size reference. And here is our uke, all wrapped up in some nice protective paper. And uh, oh cool, a little clip on tuner, always handy. Let's get this protection stuff off here. And boom, there we go. K-Mai's Soprano Ukulele. Now this is a Soprano Ukulele model uh, because it is the smallest of the ukulele family. You can see it's just, you know, maybe a little under two feet long. Um, and it's going to have, I don't want to say the thinnest sound, but Soprano Ukuleles being the smallest, uh, you know, they're not known for being super deep and super rich sounding. Um, they are known for being kind of higher voiced, so to speak. Uh, but this is going to be really, really great just size wise for kids um, or for people with smaller hands. Uh, who are interested in picking up the ukulele. Because it's a nice compact size, it's gonna be very, very easy for smaller hands and smaller fingers to, to work around on the fretboard and stuff. Very in tune. 
very in tune, sounds great. Okay, so just taking a look cursorily, it's actually pretty well built. We have just a basic wooden bridge, um, some pretty solid looking tuners, all metal, there's nothing plastic or crabby there. Some nice kind of uh, faux mother of pearl uh, tuners, which is really, really cool. Uh, but yeah, looks really, really well built. Decent bracing inside from, from what it looks like. Oh, we do have a little uh, <laughs> silica gel packet. Don't eat this, it's not very tasty. Oh, and look at that, nice little card here. Music is my faith and the pursuit of my life. How very positive. Particular model number on this one is the KMU21S, um, in case you guys are curious. But I believe it's just sold on Amazon as a starter soprano ukulele set. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now, is I'm gonna get it tuned up, we'll get it mic'd up, and then we'll play it a little bit so that you guys can hear it, and I'll let you know how it plays, how it tunes, all that good stuff. Let's check it out. Okay guys, so we're here in the control room. We've got our KMI's starter ukulele, soprano ukulele. I've got a little microphone set up here um, so that you guys can kind of hear how it sounds. Now I've been playing around with it a little bit. Um, few things I am noticing, the build quality is really good overall, but we do have some kind of hung frets or frets that are just sticking out a little bit and they're a little bit rough along the edges. Now, fortunately, ukulele is not an instrument where you're going up and down the neck a ton. You're mostly just playing open chords in kind of a bass position. Um, so that shouldn't be too big of a deal, but it is something to be aware of. Honestly, I'm not really shocked by that given the price of this instrument. Um, other than that, the build quality is really, really great though. You know, it seems like good wood. It seems pretty well put together and it sounds surprisingly good. Ukuleles are normally tuned, at least soprano ukuleles are tuned G, C, E, A. And I've got this tuned up and sounded pretty good now. Um, it is holding tune pretty well, which is, you know, more than can be said for a lot of really, really cheap instruments. But just a word to the wise with anything like this, as you play, you're definitely going to want to be consistently checking your tuning. It has 15 frets, um, which I think is pretty typical for a soprano ukulele. I'm not totally sure, um, but it sounds really, really quite good, uh, especially for such an inexpensive instrument. I'm just going to go ahead and strum a few chords here for you guys. Like I said, I am not an expert ukulele player, but I do know a few shapes, but hopefully you guys can get a good idea of how it sounds. Okay guys, so there you go, our k Starter Soprano Ukulele. It sounds really, really nice. It plays pretty well. You know, you can definitely tell that it is a less expensive instrument. I wouldn't say it feels cheap necessarily, uh, but there's just, you know, some hung frets on the side here. And, you know, I'm sure if it were like a larger body ukulele, it would sound uh, a little bit fuller. But, you know, again, the, the real purpose of this instrument is not to be some amazing, high quality studio instrument, although that's honestly what I'm going to use it for, and I think it'll work fine um, for kind of basic general use in that in that role. Uh, but you know, if you are a kid, or you have kids, or you're just generally looking at getting into playing the ukulele, and don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on like a really nice hand-built custom one or something like that, this is going to be a great option. You know, it does play well, it sounds really, really good, and it's going to get you acquainted uh, with the kind of overall, you know, scales and chords and, and just kind of generally playing ukulele. The finish is really, really nice. I will say that the rosette here is nicely done. Um, the stained finish is, is really quite nice. Um, it does feel good in the hand and it seems pretty solidly built, you know, especially um, in the in the bag that it comes with. If this thing took a little tumble or something like that, I wouldn't be too concerned. You know, yeah, really well built overall. Sounds pretty good. My only gripe would be, like this was definitely a difficulty I was having, it is a very small instrument. You know, that's not the fault of the manufacturer. That's just the size of a soprano ukulele. Um, so if you have bigger hands, you know, I've got big bass player drummer hands, this is gonna be a very small instrument for you. It really is designed more for people with smaller hands or, you know, particularly kids, that kind of a thing. If you do have bigger hands, I might recommend stepping up to a larger size of ukulele. Again, that has nothing to do with the builder. That's just the nature of this particular instrument. But it is definitely playable, especially if you stay lower on the neck. Intonation seems, okay 
action is pretty good out of the box. You know, you might want to mess with the bridge a little bit if you want the action a little bit lower. And you know, of course, you can you can mess with the intonation that way as well, or just take it to your local music shop. They should be able to help you out with that. But overall, for the price, I think it's a great deal uh, for anybody who's looking at just kind of getting into playing ukulele. I think you're going to have a great time with it and be be more than satisfied. Great way to start learning. Now, the other big selling point of this pack is that it comes with all of these really really cool accessories: the strap, the tune an excellent little book, the case, that's all really, really handy. You know, a lot of times when you buy these less expensive or kind of starter instruments, um, they just come very standalone. Uh, but it's really nice that they've included all of these great little accessories that are going to help you get started right off the bat. That's very, very handy. Uh, so definitely props there. But what do you guys think? Uh, have you used or played this ukulele? Do you have a different starter ukulele that you enjoy? Whatever your thoughts may be, definitely leave them in the comments down below. Always love hearing from you guys. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. Click that notification bell to stay up to date when we release new videos. And if you want to give this video a like or a share, if you found it enjoyable or helpful, that would be awesome as well. But my name is Alex Scott with Concertini.com. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.